So I guess the trail would continue on this way if you came back uh, in the winter time. Of course it's closed because it's flooded, you know, that's what I was told. Uh, so I knew what to expect coming out here. But uh, I just wanted to get the birds over here on the video. And this is So this is as far as I get today. Uh, let's get over here, get the, get the marsh on the video. It's uh, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, guys. Yeah. So this is why they say no fishing. You could, you could definitely bring a pole in here. Beautiful. All right, that's it for this trail today. So there was another sign. <laughs> Don't feed the gators. <laughs> Fears only larger alligators. When an alligator, we reconnect with our place in nature, and here's not at the top. They eat small animals. They ambush their prey. Oh, there's a fox. He hunts at night. They need water. Aren't lazy. They are basking. So I got to get one more look. And uh, we're in a shelter here where you could have a picnic. It says alligators are true survivors. They're not monsters and they are not pets. Yeah, I heard some stupid people having lions and tigers and well, coyotes or whatever for pets, but I've never heard of having an alligator for a pet, but I guess it's possible. We are in Florida. <laughs> Florida man, Florida man. To add to the video, hey, Fachi God. Where's the Fachi God? Guess what, Fachi? Nobody has masks on. Oh my God, Fachi, come down here. Come down here to Florida, man. You better better bring your uh, Nazis, those FBI Nazis that are arresting parents in uh, school board meetings, because we got no masks on here. Oh my God, Fachi. So here's another sign on the way back. Sculpted from the bones of an ancient sea. I'll let you read this on your own, because I've already read it. Hold it right there for one second. And then we got this right here, the Sinkhole Valley. Here's an aerial view, looking south. One of these days I will have to get a drone. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? But uh, I know some places you, you know, I think here in Payne's Prairie, you're not supposed to be flying them, but I guess if it's authorized. So this is, uh, so here's where we are, right here. All right, let's get going. Well, here's another bird on the way back. Look how long that neck is. Man. So I decided to do some of the, the bike trail here. Man, this is really pretty. You know, this, if you wanted to come to La Chua and just bring your bicycle and ride this trail, it's supposed to be, I talked to some some youngins and they said it's about 28 miles. So you could get a really good workout. And I... Uh, about 10 minutes up here, they said there's going to be a, um, a view of the uh, of Payne's Prairie. But before I forget these stories, <laughs> Florida man stories. So the guy was telling me, I, I didn't get it on the video, but uh, I thought this was unbelievable how stupid people can be. He says they had to uh, uh, call a ranger because this guy, evidently he was having his child lay down in within six feet of the gators so he could make videos of it i guess for youtube or something and uh and and so they they said you know this you can't do that sir those gators i mean they can move at about 30 miles an hour for about 20 feet you know so you don't want <laughs> how stupid can you be oh my god and he said the other story let's just get the tree on the video because uh, got some people coming the other story that he told me well, and this was a grandmother, and what she was doing is uh, she was just getting pictures, and she was laying, or not laying down, but she would kneel within about six feet of the gator, get in front of them, so she could get some good pictures. I mean, and he said, he said, I, he says, this is the stuff that we see here, you know, uh, and, and he says we have to, we try to warn people. So I guess the uh, do not feed the gators. <laughs> <laughs> has some merit to it. I always make fun of those signs, but uh, 
you know, the stupidity of people knows no bounds. And uh, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man, does what stupid people can. Maybe I could just write a song about that, huh? That'd be fun. All right, so the next video we'll get the picture of the of the prairie. Should be up here about 10 minutes, but you can see it's a very popular uh, area for Gainesville. You know, what a natural resource. Uh, yeah, this is the good part about uh, Florida. You know, usually we have some some good uh, bike trails and we've got uh, hiking and, uh, you know, of course in, in my neighborhood, all kinds of activities. And, you know, it's just a, it's a wonderful free state. Uh, you know, you can see, uh, look at all those masks, Fachi. All them masks, everybody's got masks on. So this is what they were talking about. It's called the Sweet Water Overlook. I just wanted to get that on the video so I could, because I, my memory is such. You can see up here, that looks like the overlook. We'll get the video up there as soon as I get there. Crawls. <laughs> Wouldn't want one of them biting you. Anyway, this is the, uh, this is the Sweet Water Overlook. Boy, brand new fence. Wow, this is nice. Uh, but anyway, so let's just get that on the video. Boy, that's beautiful, isn't it? So just up from the uh, La Chua little trail there, you could come here. Um, the other thing I, I forgot to tell you, um, you might wonder why I'm just hiking the bike trail today. Uh, I was gonna go down to the Cove Trail, which is down 441. That was what I had in mind today. But uh, they said that's, uh, we've had so much rain, that's why this, the, the Latua Trail was closed because, you know, the rainwater, that the water level's up way high. And uh, so you couldn't hike that Cove Trail. And uh, there's a Jackson Hole Trail there. I don't know what that is. I wouldn't mind getting it in, but it didn't sound like a very long hike. So I'm just gonna go down the bike trail a ways and then uh, maybe we'll hit that Jackson Hole on the way out. But i uh, you know, at this time of the year, it's just not a good time to be out hiking, uh, you know, in these, these marshy areas because uh, just had so much rain this summer. All right. Peace out. The girls moved on so we can get the sign on the video here. So right along the tides of history in this cove flows the waters of Sweetwater Branch in Beaven's Arm. When heavy rains transformed Paynes Perry into Alchua lake in the 1870s and 80s boats carrying goods between landings were seen from this vantage point a large steamer to regularly pass was the kakala or chakala a 32 foot steam yacht in 1892 a major drought caused the lake to dry up and aqua sink to drain much of the disappointment of fish and fishermen alike so uh this kind of tells you what you're looking at uh the stops of interest along the uh, bike trail, I suppose. And uh, there's the Sweetswater, this the state trail. So you can kind of see what you got. So this is this is taking you back to downtown Gainesville. And then you're coming along here. So you can kind of get the roads. Uh, CR-234. Uh, so, interesting. So you got uh, parking areas, I don't know, I'm not too, that's what he was talking about, I think, to min, min camp canopy. I don't know if I'll get that on the way out or not. All right, let's get going. So I'm coming up on the Bowl, B-O-U-L, Bowlware Springs Crossing. And we'll get that on the, I guess, trails. equestrian users have the right of way. I guess they ride horses on this trail. Okay. So let's get the spring on the video. Huh. Wonder what's all the all the pipes are for down there. I don't really understand that. Reinforcement maybe? I don't know. Let's look at it on the other side. Boy that water looks almost drinkable, doesn't it? That looks uh, really clear. So that's uh, really quite beautiful. And the springs continue on this way. Boy, it would be nice if they could cut a path. But I guess it's probably private property. But if you could just walk along the spring, 
That would be fun. Oh well. So let's get a little bit of the bike path on the video just to show you what it's looking like. Really quite nice. I mean, this would be a great place to bring a bicycle. And uh, I am definitely coming. Next time I come, when I don't have uh, camping gear and bags and food and everything else in my car, I can throw that bike in the back of that Prius Prime and bring it here uh, next time I'm up in Gainesville and, uh, and get, a, get a hike, get a nice bike ride, and we'll make a video about that. But I am seeing uh, fences over here, so that might be private property, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I mean, on this side, you can see the houses. But what a great place to live, huh? Can you imagine owning one of those? All right. So I wanted to show this on the video. <clears throat> I thought this was just for hiking, but this is really for horses. You know, of course, they can't ride on the asphalt. I mean, but you wouldn't want them on the asphalt. So what they have is they have a trail beside the trail and what would be nice is if you're a if you're a hiker like I am you know hiking over here um, it's a lot easier on the knees and the ankles and the feet you know if you if you wanted to so that's the one advantage to this trail is you don't have to hike on the asphalt you can hike beside the trail because it's cut out for, for horses and stuff anyway I'm on my way back uh, so I'm tie this video off right here I'm gonna head on home I got to finish working on that rain barrel and then uh, and then I got to continue packing for the trip because I got to get on the road as soon as possible and uh, we'll do the mantra real quick uh, freedom oh freedom good to live in the free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis where we have no masks no jab because we're free. Woohoo! I thought I'd go just a little ways on the other side down the bike trail. And uh, man, look what you see here. This is cool. I guess that's a sinkhole. I don't know if this is supposed to be a trail. Maybe this is just people that have worn this in. I thought that was a gator there, but it's just a log in the water. I'm just going to go up here a little ways and then get back on the bike trail and show you what that looks like. But uh, always good to get off trail a little bit every now and then. I don't think this is supposed to be a trail. I think it's just people have worn this in. You could slide down that on a wet day, couldn't you? <laughs> Wonder what's in there. Well, I think it's coming to an end here. People haven't gone all the way around, but they could cut a trail right around the sinkhole. That'd be pretty cool. You know, if you had your gear on, you could hike around it. Let's get back on the bike trail, but I thought you might want to see this. And the bike trail gets even prettier on this side of the Latua entrance. Look at the size of that tree. Oh, man, I haven't seen too many trunks that big. Wow, I bet that's hundreds of years old. But I like it uh, over in here, it's very nice. Um, like I said, man, gotta come back with the bicycle. Probably go this direction first, would be what I'd want to do, and then go back the other way. Well, let's head on back up to the car. Maybe I'll hit that Jackson trail on the way out. We'll see.